Hey there. So in this video, we're going to do a pranayama practice together. This exercise is going to be called Kapalabhati. So pranayama is this ancient Indian yogic practice. This text I have in front of me is from around 500 BC, Patanjali, um, and he describes the purposes of pranayama and what it's for. It's breath control, basically breath control with an aim towards gaining an understanding of the body and the soul, <laughs> whatever that might be, the Atman. Um, so this phrase, for example, tasmin satisvasa prasasa yor gati vicheda pranayama, um, which translates to with effort relaxing, the flow of inhalation and exhalation can be brought to a standstill. This is called breath regulation. So pranayama is all about controlling the breath and learning to gain awareness of the muscular system that allows us to breathe and therefore also allows us to speak and to sing. So if we want any kind of control of our voice, we have to start with breathing. And that is what has brought me to this practice. So the exercise is called Kapala Bhati and Kapala is a Sanskrit word that means skull and Bhati means to shine. So Kapala Bhati means shining skull. Uh, this exercise is very energetic. It strengthens the abdominal muscles and can clear out the sinuses. So the way this practice works is a series of rapid abdominal contractions that constrict here and cause exhalation. So, so it forces air out through the lungs rather forcefully. So the exercise works best if you don't actively inhale. Instead, you're actively exhaling and then you're letting the air passively flow in. When you're ready, sit up straight. Make sure your shoulders are back and just sort of feel into your body for a second. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate and then I will begin counting and you can begin the exercise with my demonstrations or when I start to count. So. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One two, 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 one two. So now Take a very deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now you're going to breathe in and hold the breath. And as you sustain the breath in your body, think about all of the different places where you are holding it. You can pay attention to your lips and your nose and the muscles keeping those closed. You can pay attention to the area around your larynx, all the muscles that are keeping the vocal folds together. And you can think about your abdominal muscles and all the muscles that keep the air in. Exhale. Inhale. And as you're holding your breath, you can try to manipulate each of those different areas. Tighten or loosen the abdominal muscles, tighten or loosen the laryngeal muscles, and see how that affects your ability to hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and we'll start another round of Kapalabhati. One, two, 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 one, two,
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure you're sitting up straight. Your shoulders are back. And just feel the line of your body from where your breath comes in, down your throat, deep into the abdomen. And that's the practice. Thank you for joining me. Okay.